Alrighty then. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I'm Kevin. Welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you're here. It is Friday, May 15th. We're halfway through May. Can you believe this already? Ugh, it's insane. But thank goodness it's Friday, May 15th, 2020, or better known as, as like the 10,000th day of quarantine. But everything's opening back up next week or today or whatever. So I guess quarantine's over. So coronavirus is completely gone. That's what people on Facebook tell me. And we know how credible people on Facebook are. But you're here. And I'm glad you're here. And I'm actually in the process of waiting for a client deployment to wrap up. So I can swap over my screen and do the thing that I actually want to do today. So I... I'm streaming a little bit later than I had originally planned, and I decided, eh, I don't feel like doing any actual work. I don't want to work on the existing projects I had. I'd rather just sit here and work on something that means <laughs> nothing, or <laughs> just do some fun code, because fun code is usually the code you learn the most from, in my opinion. Uh, we have a couple of viewers out there. If you're out there lurking, just say hi in the chat. I would love to you know, just see how you're doing. Uh, McBrother, MacBrother, uh, hi from Germany. Thanks for the dapper talk yesterday. One of the best talks of the whole event. You know, you don't have to say nice things to me. I'm not paying you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I really appreciate that. I love doing that dapper talk because it's always a different experience wherever I give it. And what's interesting is the, the audience always comes back with a whole bunch of questions and use cases that I have never considered with dapper before and uh, it's actually causing me to go out and write a, a couple different blog articles about how i use dapper and how i think other people sh could should use dapper and i wrote one last night just about what dapper is and it went semi-viral in my opinion uh, i was i got a lot of hits off that off that post so i i'm glad you can make it definitely <laughs> It's funny you mentioned the the Dapper Talk because I think at the beginning of the talk I said I do a daily Twitch stream and I went back and checked my Twitch stream later and I had about 20 new follows just from people from that talk. Uh, so I, I guess I need to do more than do more of that. Uh, and what's what's really interesting, they sent me the email, the follow up email this morning. So there were 530 people in your talk. I'm like, awesome. I cannot believe I, I was speaking to that many folks um, and I'm grateful and blessed to have all of you um, uh, let's see this deployment's over that's good let's make sure I didn't crash this site that's the thing I always forget to do we do a deployment and then we <laughs> never really double check to make sure the site came back up 100% because sometimes it doesn't it's weird uh, yeah yeah we look good Okay, so everyone's happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Are you happy? All right. Well, let's close that down. Let's close that down. Let's close these tabs. So much stuff's open. Repos. All right. Well, I am going to switch over to my other screen. Make sure that happens. Yes. So I'm going to check out Twitch Lib today. This is a C Sharp uh, Twitch client, and it's what all my fellow live coders use for their Twitch bots. And I've really been putting off building a Twitch client or Twitch bot. And it's I, I kind of had this rule of thumb when I started my Twitch client, my Twitch stream, and that was I didn't want to work on things that were just impacting the stream. I wanted to work on quote real projects. So even if it wasn't something that was directly related to my day job, I wanted to work on projects that were real. And because in my opinion, you get more benefit out of building something real and tangible that other people might use than you do working on something that's just self-satisfying or just satisfying the thing. I didn't want to build something that just satisfies the Twitch stream, which I see so many people do, uh, like so many Twitch streamers or code live coders, they just start with, Oh, I'm going to build a site to manage my streams. 
there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not necessarily the way I wanted to approach building my stream. I, I'd rather you come here and I'm working on something new. Kind of my goal with every stream was coming in and saying, I have no idea what I'm doing today, but I'm going to figure it out. Because uh, there's so many just new coders who are coming to Twitch, try to learn and pick up different ideas. There are old seasoned pros who come to Twitch just to pick up some new ideas or at least see how other people are doing it. Uh, I know personally, I just live in this bubble where I have always done things the way that I've done them. I've worked with different teams and I've picked up tips and tricks here and there, but it's really easy to lose sight of what do other people do? And I think Twitch is a great mechanism for, for seeing, oh, that person does X, Y, and Z. And I never thought about that before. So hopefully you, if you've been with my stream for the past, at least the past month or the past couple of months, you've picked up a little bit of that. But uh, my, <laughs> I'm, hey, Chad, how are you doing? Tell, learn, code. Uh, great new streamer if, you haven't already let me give him a shout out so tail tailor code my shout out command should work yes uh, i know chad you're trying to go live daily as well and it's yeah definitely a lot of fun and i want to work on new exciting different things but today i want to work on a twitch bot and here's my reasonings for a twitch bot i have i have a couple different things i like to do with my my twitch channel and it's mostly around automation the the big the big automation pieces i want to put in is i want to have some my own unique commands so uh exclamation mark something and the twitch bot would respond and i think that's i think that's a logical thing to do i also would like to have the automations around uh other services that maybe just reports back whether or not i'm live uh, so I'll give you a great example. Let me go to my personal website. So consultwithgriff.com. Uh, I have a, a branch of this right now I'm working on where I wanna add a live button up here in the top right hand corner. So whenever I am live with you all, it has a flashing light that basically says Kevin's on air and they can come watch me on Twitch and also possibly YouTube. I'm thinking about setting up Restream again and cross streaming to Twitch and YouTube. But I, I, I think you all, the, the audience here on Twitch is way more engaging. So I'm not in a particular hurry to do that. Uh, but I'd like to have interaction on my main site that just is essentially based off whether or not I'm live or not. And you can do that without having a full Twitch bot set up, but it's so much easier to just have something that's continuously polling my channel and it knows if I'm live or not. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I want. Um, and then on you know on top of that, you know there's I want to build a couple games to try to foster interaction with you all, the the audience, the the community. Uh, and I actually think I have a really good idea for a Twitch game. I'm not going to say what it is yet because I want to flesh it out a little bit more. But imagine instead of having my waiting screen which is just a, a countdown page of my shed what if it's an actual game you could play in the twitch chat and and also in between take little little breaks and we could play the game together as a community so now let's look at twitch lib i have i've looked at twitch lib in the past just you know, this is the thing i should know about and i'm a part of the live coders uh, stream team and they talk about Lich, Twitch Lib all the time. I believe the maintainers of Twitch Lib are in that uh, Discord as well. But there's a lot in here, and including some undocumented stuff, which I think is fun. Chatters, recent channel events. Uh, so we're gonna set this up. And I, my goal, my goal is to just get Yeah, just see if we can get um, some information out of the chat room. I guess that's a good starting point. Or even better, the, the, I think the starting point is, is the channel live? There's a lot of events. Visual basic, no, that's all right. Uh, 
API. What we got in here? Subscriptions. Check subscription for a specific user and the channel specified. Get channels that a specific user follows. Okay. Return bull if a channel is offline or online. Yes, actually, that's the first thing I want to do. Uh, so let's let's start with all thing. We'll create a new directory. We'll just call it Griffin Twitch Bot. And we'll go in, we'll create a new .NET. I'll just, I'm gonna make this a web app because it's basically gonna live in an app service anyway. Actually, my thought with a couple of things, what if I just made this an Azure function? Because is streaming API. I wonder if I could just do that with an Azure function first. So let's let's remove all this. Let's start let's start with something simpler. Eh. Okay, that should be empty. No, that's not what I want to do. So we'll go in the source. Actually, we'll come back up here. We'll go ahead and do it. Get init. Let's open this up in VS Code. Uh, Kino Dim, how are you? Thanks for thanks for dropping in chat. I hope you have a good weekend too. And uh, thanks for for the kind words. Of our git ignore. I'm also going to add a readme for later. Let's go to my favorite site, gitignore.io. I'll we'll add in Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. Um, <clears throat> hey, and thanks for the follow. I'm going to write some C sharp. I forgot what all is in here. There's no Azure. Yeah. So we'll add C sharp. We'll add Java. No, 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 no. We'll add node because we're, I might write some web apps later. Okay. So well, we'll add some stuff. We can always add stuff to our get ignore in the future. All right. That's a whole bunch of junk. So readme plus ignore file. So let's go in the source and oh I'm already in source. I want a dotnet new. But are there I actually want to create an Azure function first that I can deploy. And I don't think I have those. Yeah, I don't have those templates installed. So I'm just going to do this through regular Visual Studio because I know how to do that and it works. Create new project. Azure functions. Next. We'll drop into repos. Twitch bot source select. Uh, we'll call this Twitch functions. Okay, so the first one I want to create is actually going to be, we'll make an HTTP trigger. Function leather level authorization. Yeah, I want this to be an endpoint that an external service will hit. Okay. 
create our first function and we'll call this uh, is channel online that'll only be a get request delete all that actually we'll we'll pass in a query we'll call it channel name This is a static function, so I don't want to do anything special. We'll add a new NuGet package. We'll go get Twitch lib. Update my Azure function SDK. All right, Twitch lib. A lot of Twitch lib, so we'll just get the main one. Okay, result. Let's go look at Twitch Lib. So Twitch Lib says we should create a new API, set the access token and the client token. So this will take the and I'm a stickler for underscores under my private variables under my field. So we'll create that uh, clients and access token are both strings. an access token all right that way up here I can just do var twitch so go to new twitch and I can get the environment variables out of the environment so get the environment variable twitch Client ID. Yeah, I'll call it that. And then we'll also pass in environment, get environment variable, Twitch access token. Okay. I should really have these as variables. So we'll call this client ID and then access token. Because then I can pass one and then the other in. Okay. Do some validation. If the name is null or void space, we're going to throw a new bad request. Object. No, bad request result. And well, let me pass a string. No, no I don't want to throw. Said so return. New. Hey, Mr. Buckby, how are you? Mike, I added a feature just for you. So down underneath my video, there's an extension for Pretzel that lets you 
choose the song you want to play. I think you are the perfect person to test this out. No. Actually, you know what? I can make, I can add channel points. So I'll make channel points. Uh, can I add a new, well, add a new reward? I don't know if this will go through right away. So if you, I'll call it turn off pretzel for f here. You get to see the magic. Turn off pretzel for five minutes. <laughs> Uh, so how many how many points should this cost? This should cost 500 points. Viewers earn 220 points with average per hour. Subs earn double. All right, I think that works. Um, I don't have a nifty little icon for it, so we're not going to put a nifty little icon. If enabled, only future viewer requests will skip the queue for review. Limit redemption per stream. Ha ha ha. Now I'll leave it on. Okay. Awesome. How do you even spell pretzel? Pretzel. <laughs> pretzel. Rocks. I'm not even sure how, how it works either. <laughs> I just put it there. It says, oh, your, your people can vote on stuff. So Mike, you're a smart person. I need you to figure it out. Prior viewer to enter text. No, no, I don't need that. Okay, so we'll, we'll create. All right, it's added. So now if you go to my channel points, there should be one in there, Mike, called turn pretzel music off for five minutes. There you go. Wally! Wally. Wally redeemed turn pretzel, turn off pretzel for five minutes. Okay, Wally, you got it, bud. <laughs> you were waiting. You want well, Wally. You probably have enough uh, channel points to do that a, a couple times. So, all right, mark is complete. All right, grand entrance. <laughs> all right, so uh, set a timer for five minutes. This is this is my concentration music, friends. You took my concentration music away. All right. A uh, new bad request result. Object. And I'll just say uh, channel name. All right. And see, I'm so lost now. I'm, I, I don't have my concentration music. Hey, Mom. Now I'm just left with my own thoughts. Okay, so assuming I have a channel name, let's, all right. So we'll ask Twitch dot, oh, um, public bull. Is Twitch lib asynchronous? Yes. Is channel online. And then we'll do API dot. Just copy. Or we won't. There we go. So I'll pass in channel channel name. And 
that should be lowercase v5 streams broadcaster online okay uh, let me go ahead and head over to my my properties real fast I need to get my twitch deets which it probably tells me up here where to go get them right um, Dev on Twitch dev. I don't remember. Dev.twitch.tv. Okay, that seemed reasonable. Uh, Login to Twitch. Yep. So am I creating an extension? Is that how that works? I don't actually remember Twitch, the documentation telling me that. Doxy. Okay, this might not be useful. Um, I feel like uh, let's let's go into my my settings. my stream key all right where do you get twitch do you, do you have to go through this process console create an extension or create an application create integrations using our API I guess that's it We'll just do HTTP localhost for now. Select the category. I'm not even sure what to do. Uh, application integration, I guess. Create. May not contain the word Twitch. All right. Hey, five dollars or five minutes is over. <laughs> Going back on. Boom. We'll go to the next song. <laughs> well, at least you're all. <laughs> Hi, Calvin. <laughs> so, I feel like I need to raise the price on this particular perk or need a. You know what? We're going to give this a five-minute cooldown. I want five minutes of pretzel. So we'll come back in five minutes, and I'll turn it off for five minutes. Set timer for five minutes. Ah, uh, you're stupid, Siri. Uh, oh, Siri didn't like that. Set timer for five minutes. All right. Five-minute cooldown, and then, Calvin, you can have your... There we go. So. All right, so I have a client ID and I have a client secret. Okay. Okay. So now I can go in and, what do I even need to call these? The client ID, Twitch client ID.
could reject Calvin's request. Say no, no request for you. Actually, I am going to make that worth more because if you're all going to play these games, you're going to pay for it. I wish there was a feature on here. Only make it uh, allowed for subscribers. <laughs> that would be great. Save. Boom. I can't. I, I could ignore it, but that wouldn't be. I wouldn't be a good stream host if I did that, right? Uh. So we'll. Twitch dot is channel online. Mike, it's not even that loud. When I talk, you can barely hear it. I have listened to the recordings. It is it is fine the way it is. It sounds louder than me. Turned it down some more. My radio tones. All right, let's return. It is online. Let's hit, let's hit run and see what happens. Oh, that's right. I need to send an OK object results. So, Chad, I've listened to the recordings, and I didn't think it was that bad. But Mike's Mike's got the ears of a a young dog. So maybe channel name is equal to one Kev Griff. Well, that didn't work. Add request. Why aren't you throwing exceptions? Throw exceptions. Go ahead, throw exceptions. All right, your request failed because your client ID was invalid, not said. Your refresh token was invalid. Your request name. Requested a username when the server was expecting a user ID. Oh, not the same thing, is it? Hmm. All right. We'll go ahead and pause my awesome music. We'll use Calvin's points. So why? Well, let's scroll down. Channel ID. So channel ID is that. Where do I get channel ID from? Is that in, that's not in my stream manager, is it? No. Hmm. Okay. All 
All right. Oh, let me reset my timer so I can have my awesome music back. Set a timer for five minutes. Okay. Your timer is set for five, five minutes. minutes. Okay. How do you find the channel ID if you know a channel name? Kraken users. I don't care about Visual Basic. Get off this Visual Basic. No, nope, don't care about any of that. Well, so is there API v5 channels? Get channel by ID. Uh, Twitch bot Mike is going to do a couple things. So the first thing I'm trying to do is I want to get the status of my channel. I want to make that a, basically a API endpoint and I'm going to add a hook to my website where whenever I'm live, I'm going to have a little on air, uh, banner or something at the top so I can tell people, Hey, I'm live right now. You're on my website. Why don't you just come talk to me live? And if I drive more traffic to my site, the odds of people seeing me online at any point in time are uh, go up. That's that's my plan. So that'd be nice. Have a little on air sign up here at the top. But in order to do that, I need to actually get the status of my channel and I can add a little hook in here to make a call to an Azure function and that Azure function will uh, give me back the result. All right, so if I'm in here, channels, get channel, get and no. Hmm. Uh, if wonder if I could do something like GitHub build status and code coverage tags. Uh, yeah. Kraken users. Is there users? Get user by ID. So if I pass in my channel name, what does user have inside of it? Yeah. Oh, that's a, uh, I see what you're saying, Mike. Yeah. So instead of me doing, having an API endpoint actually writing JavaScript, just have it return an image or create an image on the fly, uh, or, or have this return an image basically. If, if, if online return the online image, if not online return the offline image or return no image at all. Yeah, that's a good thought. And that would probably work better because the browser would do it automatically if you just add the image to it. I like that idea. All right. 
All right, so I have a problem. Oh, yeah, my problem is I'm dumb. <laughs> the wrong codes in there so this might have actually just worked the way it was you could base 16 code it yeah yep okay so these point to actual things yep All right, still, still has a problem. Okay. The dumbest, simplest way possible. Yeah. You requested a username when the server was expecting a ID by ID. Okay. Get user by name. Yep. Oh. Users. What's what? Matches. Oh. All right. Well, let's assume there's one. Can I just do first? ID. Okay. Eh. See how this works. <laughs> All right. My timer went off. I'm going to turn back on my sweet. Hey, we have a winner. Is there a match? There's one match. It's me. Okay. Am I online? True. Okay. Uh, why did it return 500? I don't know. Let's see. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Oh, I forgot the task awaited. Oops. All right. True. Awesome. All right. So let's let's take Mike's idea and Is there a thing that creates those little badges, Mike? Is there like someone build a utility for um Shields.io. Love shields. Hey, there you go. Thanks, Calvin. What do you think? Maybe, maybe have it say live instead.
let's open uh, another tab. Let's go into, uh, let's just see what it looks like. Um, all right, so there's one for live. I wonder if you're allowed to link to them directly. Pixel perfect, no tracking. Never had a problem, okay. Create badges from your own JSON endpoint. Well, let's try it. I like this idea. Okay, so I want to return JSON. Uh, resource response. You have seven and one relinked. Okay. Yeah, I'd imagine if it was a huge deal, they wouldn't, wouldn't care. So let's, all right, let's clean up this code a little. Let's refactor. We'll add a new class. We'll call it uh, shields, shield badge. Um, and it looks like you pass in well you know we'll just use strings for now so style they call it over is it all right, schema version. Oh, he's the number one. I love this. It's always going to be one, but you need to put it there in case we ever decide to change it later. Style required default flat. All right, so we'll say style. We'll add label. And we'll set color. You know, this might be an easy thing to write a little .NET SDK for and put it up on GitHub. Say, hey, if you're using Shields IO, here's, <laughs> here's the best way to do it. Um, the right color, and then label is the left color. So public. Named logo, logo SVG. All right, so I already have style cache. All right, I'll leave it as default. I don't care about that. Um, all right, let's see what happens. Forgot does. Is there a JSON result? There is. Okay. So if is online. So message, I need to add message to it. All right, 
right, schema version. Um, there's always one. Color is the right color. And then label color is the left color. And then style. So what are my style options? Plastic, flat. What do we have? Flat, plastic, flat squared. For the badge. Huh. And then social. Are there... I must have missed this. Were there... Examples of the different styles. Oh, I think there were. No, no, there wasn't. All right, so styles, styles, styles. There we go. I think I'm going to go with for the badge. I like that style. That's a that's a good beginner style. Style. Okay. Okay, so some defaults. We'll set badge, so label. Did I say label was the left text? And we'll set this to twitch.tv slash one kev griff. The left, that's the right color. Label color is going to be the default light gray. We'll leave it as light gray, but we'll go ahead and drop it in there. So if we're online, and then we'll set the style, style, style equal to, and I should make, if I actually do more with this, I'll make it a enumeration for the badge. Okay. Then if we're online, we'll set the message equal to online color is equal to red, red. If I'm offline, we'll set the message to offline. What's a good color to use if I'm offline? What are some color options? Inactive? Yeah, I guess inactive. We'll go with inactive this to begin with. All right, let's go ahead and let's simplify that. And really, I could have made this easier. Let me let me just do this all in one. And then color is equal to is online. There we go. Now I can delete all that code. So if we return that as a JSON result, let's make sure that actually works the way we expect it to. Hey. All right. Well, let's do the next test. Let's deploy this up to an Azure function and see see what happens. That means I need to log into my, my portal. Let me do it over here on the other screen just for a minute. 
Uh, Mike, that was a fantastic idea. Thank you so much for that. That's going to work so much better. Switch directory. All right, I'm going to put this over in a different directory, which means I need to switch accounts. Switching accounts in Azure is a pain in the butt. Okay, so create, go to resources, um, add a new resource group, we'll call this TwitchBot. Let's go to resource group, we'll add a new resource, we're gonna say Azure functions or functions. I want to create a functions app. Okay. Runtime stack dot net core running three one. I want to be in East US. Hosting. Create a new storage account, so we'll call this I hate how every service in Azure has different naming requirements. So frustrating. Alright, and we're gonna do consumption based. and create. Okay, that's happening over on another screen. We'll give it a second. And we wait, 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 wait. Let's see. I think it's going to work really well. So we'll get this online. We'll get it tested against Shields IO. Uh, that's a great resource, Calvin. Thanks for, thanks for piggybacking on Mike there. All right, we done yet? We are almost done. Almost done. And this is nice. If it's serverless, it's not going to cost me anything to run this. It will cost like a couple cents. Uh, and I mean, worst case, if my site is getting a ton of traffic, if, well, actually, hold on. So the only problem is, wouldn't it be so cool on my page if I had a notification? Like you're on my site, you're like, oh, Kevin wrote this awesome article on Dapper, da, da, da. and all of a sudden there's a little, little pop-up bar at the bottom or up the top. Hey, Kevin just went live on Twitch. Click here now and go watch his Twitch channel. I don't know. Maybe that's a. It's probably a slightly different problem to fix, right? Or I could write. So if I still put the image in there, I could have some JavaScript that just refreshes the image every minute or two. Maybe. I, I think I'm pre-solving problems that don't exist. Okay. Is this done yet? Yep. Go to resource. Get published profile. Let's go ahead and come in here. Let's do some right click. Publish. Import. That's fine. Publish. Oh, stop debugging.
And we wait, wait, wait. That succeeded. Let me go over to my function. So let's bring up. Where did I put shields IO? Here it is. So if I have shields IO here, they have the test down here at the bottom. So type in my URL. Oh, hold on. That's their oh there's that's their schema, never mind. Wait, no, that is my schema. Hey! We have a raid! Mr. Uh Guy Rozzy. How are you, guy? Guy Rosie. I always forget to how's, how to say your your last name, Guy. I'm sorry. Rozzy. Okay, come on. <laughs> uh, guy, are, were you working on your mud today? And welcome, everyone. Uh, Royce. Like, Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Uh, all right. So... Next time you raid, I'll say, all right, Rolls Royce is here because we're rolling in style. So is your mud done yet? Uh, can I can I go play and create a character and do some raids and some speed walking and all that good stuff? Didn't work on the mud today. Building an app to pick D&D &D classes. Oh, okay, cool. Now I'm assuming it's getting that from, uh, whatchamacallit, from uh, Redis, that thing you work for. Using AI. Oh, okay. Redis AI? Cool. Well, for everyone that came over from Guy's stream, welcome. My name is Kevin Griffin. I'm a Microsoft MVP, primarily working with ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, uh, doing web dev in Microsoft Azure. And today we're working on some Twitch integration for my personal website and possibly future things for the stream. So if you just want to hang out, we're trying to build a custom badge for whether or not my stream is online or not. And uh, so yeah, that's all fun. I'm getting an Azure function published right now that should actually in real time tell me if the stream is up and running. So, what, all right, what's the guy saying? I'll plan to build the model with a side kit, learn, and then host it on Redis AI. Oh, wow, that sounds like way above my, my head. I should have been on your stream learning more about that. I, I apologize, sir. All right, so I got a function URL using a test key. Uh, the channel name is missing, so I should be able to add and um, Kevin or channel name equal one kev griff all right i have an error oh i know what my error is i forgot my uh i forgot to set the thingies on my thingy um the api and access keys so i'll go do that real fast 
configuration. All right, so we'll add, no, let's not do that. Let's do it like this. So we'll call it Twitch client ID, whatever I called it. Client ID. And then new access token. All right, and let's hit save. That's going to take a second to restart. Uh, did, did restart. You sucker saved. Hey, that part worked. So I am online. So let's take this. Let's go back over the Shields IO. Let's paste in the. schema did I spell schema wrong invalid property schema version did I spell did I do something wrong invalid property schema version thought you were supposed to have said schema version did I spell schema version wrong schema version always number one Shield. No, no, I put it in there. Invalid property schema version. Hmm. Oh, is it because I did it as the always one I bet I bet that needs to let me scroll up it just needs to be one so this should be an int and that should be a one let's try that see if that works so it's not saying that the it's saying the value of the property is invalid so let's refresh push that live And we wait, and all guys viewers left. <laughs> it's always fun when you have a raid, you get like this little spike in your viewership, and you watch, and you're like, oh my goodness, I have so many viewers now. And then they realize what they're tuning in for, and they all leave. But if you're still here from Guy's channel, thank you. You are the top 1%. try this did this partake all right that took so let's go back over here and scroll down it says invalid schema version why hmm oh there we go Hold on now. Why? Why did style flat? Hmm. It's weird. So that's what I want right there. Let's 
copy HTML. Uh, there we go. Close all. Let me find my layout. I think that's it. So up here at the top. Actually, don't know what this is going to look like, so we'll we'll just try. Let's let's get it running, and then we'll see what it looks like. So there's supposed to be some HTML. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of HTML. All right, yeah, image. So if I do an li an li, add the image in there. Oops. I wish I could change the alt text, but it's all right. There we go. Local host 8080. Let's see what we got. Okay. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, except I can't make it a link. Oh wait, well, duh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Come on! I'm dumb, yep. All right, so it's a link now, and it goes to my Twitch page, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so I can't test the offline version of it because hi i'm online right now all right everyone going offline go to test this this little bar all right but i like that that looks really good uh i need to change i need to change the i need to change all that stuff um actually i want to take that out i don't think that's useful the little little button toggle thingy let's take that out see what it looks like uh, why is it still there did I take the wrong one out I did okay it was this one all right yeah I need to play with the formatting of that so maybe that shouldn't be right there. All right, so it works in, oh, it even shrink, shrunk a little, that's cool. Let's open this up in DevTools. I started this off of a off of a template, so I haven't spent too much time trying to optimize it. All right, so the nav bar, the header takes up all the space. Item center. All right. Okay. So because it's a container, the max width is 1280. That makes sense. It was probably for the better anyway. So I just need to use that space a little bit more effectively. What if, what if I took that out? I just drop it underneath for a moment. Okay. No, no, no I don't like that. Now I almost kind of wish that was smaller. It's, uh, yeah. Hey, 
We have another raid coming in. Hey, uh, Chef Brent. Thanks for, for jumping in. Uh, 15 viewers. And thanks for the follow. Lucky number seven. Oh, we have... Oh, my goodness. Thanks for the follow, Chef Brent. How you doing? Oh, my goodness. So many follows. Is Litney uh, the original jerk? Welcome. Nick, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's been a while since you've seen me. So, uh, Brent, this is day 20 of my stream streak. So I've, I've been doing pretty good. Toe Frog, thanks for the follow. Yeah, we've been doing really well. I've tried to, so a couple weeks ago, I made a goal. I'm like, I want to stream every day, whether it's for 20 minutes or if it's two, three hours. And so I've made it a goal to, to stream at least one day uh, during the week. Yeah, Bellevue, but back when we were allowed to go places, right? <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't this year, so it must have been last year. We we probably had uh, what was it Thai Fung uh, dumplings. That's probably the last time we saw each other. And thanks for all the folks you brought along with you. I hope your stream went well. What did you do today? Were you playing Cuphead? <laughs> or were you doing like real work? Oh, yeah. The conference circuit. Stream tech discussion. See, I should have sat in on that. Because that would have been useful. <laughs> well... Yeah, next time. Well, he posts when, uh, usually in our live coders group, he posts when he's doing it. So Tuesdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. So I need to make a mental note not to go on my stream on those days and times. But excellent. Let's see. This has been a good week for my follower count. Uh, I'm almost at 300. And just last week I was at um, 250. So yeah, Nick, live coders. So if you look below my video, uh, there's I should have a panel with all the live coders, and it's a, an amazing group of folks um, that dedicate their time to stream online, to do coding, to teach people uh, everything they know, and I'm humbled to be a part of them, and that they allowed me in, and yeah, so much fun. And uh, Brent did exactly what what I'm going to do when I'm done here is I'm going to send you all off to another live coder, whoever whoever is currently streaming. Uh, try to share the love. But yeah, it's a great group of people. There was much debate in me in. Oh no. Well, <laughs> like number seven, I'm I'm glad that you all let me in. It's been a lot of fun. But I really. I, I had applied and I actually had thought, all right, well, I added the application went, nah, I'm probably not doing enough right now for them to let me in, but I'll leave the application in there. And then I, I do so many things like this just because that's what I want to do. So it didn't really matter that I got into live coders. I appreciate being in live coders, but I would have probably still have done this regardless if I was in live coders or not. Uh, I just love now having access to that group of people. So, Hey, Nick. Thanks for the subscription. And that was a real subscription. That wasn't even like a Amazon Prime subscription. That's the best type of subscription. And maybe in a couple of months, I will actually see the, the results of that. <laughs> I appreciate it. So everyone uh, hanging out still, we've been working on... All right, Brent, take care. It's good chatting with you for a couple of minutes. I'll probably see you in the, the Discord every now and then when I go in there. Uh, so we've been working on a Twitch uh, ID for my site. So you can see we're, we're kind of working on placement right now. But I built an Azure function that will just get the current value of whether or not I am online. And if I'm online and streaming, it will put this... A uh, little badge on on my page so anyone looking at my page for other reasons will see hey Kevin's online streaming at Twitch let me go watch him now 
Yeah, lucky number seven. It's a epic group, and I'm yeah definitely honored to be a part of it. Uh, and it's actually exposed me to people I probably would never have looked at their stream otherwise, and not for it's for obvious reasons that I would never have seen their stream. So unless I was going off and searching the science and technology channel at all times of the day, I would never have seen a lot of these folks' streams. And because of live coders, uh, I make it, I have, I have a much better, uh, let's say view into uh, what they're doing. And it's really enjoyable to see, all right, well, this person is working on something I've never done before. Let me watch their channel for 15, 20 minutes and just see if I pick anything up and it's just all education all the time. So much fun. All right, I'm gonna move this badge back up to the bar. I kind of wish, I, I might need to do it smaller now. So maybe flat is the way to go. Just flat, tiny. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and make that adjustment. Hey, thanks for the follow, Chicken Wing. Man, now I'm hungry. Thanks. I, uh, well, so in my neck of the woods, it is almost dinner time. So 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, probably knock off here. <laughs> I won't eat you. No, no, no worries. Um, unless you're covered in barbecue sauce. But I doubt it. Uh, I told my kids that we could set up the tent in the backyard and do a camp out tonight and tomorrow. So they're looking forward to that. All right, let's publish this up, do a quick refresh, see how everything works. So one day next week, I need to figure out which day I'm going to do an all day stream that when I hit 250 followers, that was my goal. All right. So, all right. I hit 250 followers. Now I'm going to do an all day stream starting in the morning, go all day. And I'm not sure what day that's going to be. It's probably going to be Tuesday. I think Tuesday is a good day to do that. Uh, my wife booked some of my time to watch kids on Monday. And Tuesday looks good, I think. So what do you all say? Tuesday, we do an all-day stream. I don't have no idea what I'm going to work on. I'll work on odds and ends. Let's come back over here. So if I refresh, this should bring up a smaller... Well, eventually, it should bring up a smaller... That's pending. Why is that pending still? Oh, it's pending because my, why is that coming back as, it should come back as flat. Huh. I wonder if it's cached. It's probably cached. How long does it cache for? Default 300. So if that's 300 seconds, what's 300 seconds? It's like f uh, five minutes, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Ah, crap. You can't set the cache seconds to zero. So now I, I literally have to wait. Uh, but let's put it back up in the in the bar. And I'll play around with the spacing and sizing stuff later. I do like having it there. I do wish it was a little bit smaller. Or maybe I just do something with the, the name. Or right, moving the search. The search doesn't necessarily need to be its own thing. Uh, let's see. Okay. So yeah, wait 300 more seconds and then the cache will be gone. But this was a great idea from Mike Buckby, uh, who was in the stream earlier. It, basically building a badge using Shields IO and using that to have the stream status. All right, let's take that search and let's make that search. 
wonder how quickly I can make that. Mike's still here. All right, so I won't talk about Mike as though he has left already. You've been quiet, Mike. And you haven't been complaining about pretzel rocks. So... All right. We're actually going to take the search out for a moment because I don't think anyone's using the search on my page. You can't hear me over this pretzel rocks. I have thought about finding another music source. I know there's a couple out there that are um, royalty free. But I like pretzel rocks because I can just turn it on and go and it'll work. Chicken wing, you're, you'll DJ for me? That sounds awesome. All right, that, all right, that looks better. I still kind of want the search, but I don't think I need the search right away. Let me add these values. So then if I added a search here on the end, so that's margin right margin bottom I don't need margin right on this one on large margin bottom zero and if I scroll it collapses and then it's down there at the bottom that's fine all right what if search input uses the magnifying glass all right he uses search so there should be a Grid sum. So this is grid sum. How does grid sum do its icons? I don't remember. I do have font awesome in here, so maybe I could just use font awesome. I'll go with fun awesome because I added it earlier. Wherever I put it, where did I put it? Where are you supposed to put it? You're supposed to put it in main.js. Where's main? Oh, wait, that's right. I put it into another project. I didn't put it into this project. Did I? No, no, I did put it in here. It's right. It's up here. Somewhere. Or maybe I didn't add it. Okay, maybe I had thought to add it and I didn't. Uh, Chicken Wing, I am from Chesapeake, Virginia, also known as the third most boring city in the country. Uh, if you're trying to place that on a map, I am in the southeast region of Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia Beach. All that good stuff. Right. I would have swore I added Font Awesome, but I guess I didn't. So let's pretend. Let's pretend I, I didn't. Let's add it. Um, so Chicken Wing, where are you from? You don't give out personal information on the internet. All right. <laughs> uh, LA, all right. How you doing? The, how's the weather this time of year? Is it blistering hot? I have a client who's um, 
where are they at? They're, I think they're in LA. They're, they're down in Southern California somewhere. They always make fun of me because like, we'll get cold spells here in Virginia and like one day it will be in the, in the mid eighties and the next day it will be 30. <laughs> Just how our weather goes. And they'll say, Oh, I'm at the pool drinking a beer. So you all have fun with your weather. Let's add font awesome stuff. Uh, let me add some semicolons because people who don't use semicolons are evil. I'm looking at you, guy. Alright. And so font awesome, all I need is just like a search icon. So let's go to font awesome. icons there's a lot of icons in here let's just type search yeah search yeah that's why I went right there okay so so on the library we'll add oh <laughs> it's not brand icons so I don't need I don't think I need to do anything for non-brand icons. But guy, because it just makes me feel better. Semicolons were invented for a reason. <laughs> All right, we'll add font awesome down here. Oh man, so many, so many missing semicolons. Let's, let's fix all this. Tell I haven't been in this file yet because so many missing semicolons. I don't even know what that means, guy. Uh, hold on. I, I gotta like Google Translate your. Yours. In matter of taste, there can be no disputes. That is, that is some deep, deep meaning. There's no accounting for taste. I understand that. All right, we'll leave all that. So then I should be able to come into All right. Sorry. That's not Rona, I promise. How was I doing? Fun awesome. So let's take let's see if this even works is not that. Well, bless you too, guy. I appreciate it. May the Lord be with you. <laughs> uh, where's my page? Oh, I never restarted the server. Let me restart the server. Actually, it it reminds me I need to add like a mute button to my stream deck so I can quickly mute my stream whenever <laughs> I have to sneeze because <laughs> that's happened a couple times like oh no I, I can't reach the machine that I'm streaming from it's over there and I oh good so well hold on what this is airing out again really
There we go. So yeah, I can't reach the, the machine and sometimes I can hit the toggle on the actual microphone, but it'd be easier to have a mute button on my on my stream deck. So maybe one day I'll I'll have that. But I do have my new favorite, whatchamacallit, um, animation. I'm so, I'm starting to get into the whole whole <laughs> Come on! Love it. Alright, where's my icon? Oh, maybe I need to add FA. Uh oh. Could not find FA search. Is it, is it called FA search? Let me start there. FAS. You could just drop the font awesome in and use it. Uh, what am I missing? Yeah, Gritsum's a, the view version of Gatsby, basically. <laughs> uh, I I would totally use Gatsby, but I don't like React. So I use Gritsum instead because... Yeah, so I, so I think everything's configured right. Um, what am I missing here? All right, so I don't need brand icons. Take those out. So it's SVG core. the view font awesome docs because I forgot how to tell it which yeah regular icons using solid icons free solid icons okay Maybe that's what I was doing wrong The, the one I'm using, I don't think require, it was in Pro. It was just a search icon. Yeah, some of them are marked Pro. Yeah, it's this one. That one's not marked Pro. It's just solid. So I don't have the solid thing installed. So we'll do NPM install. Yep, I didn't install it. So we'll... We'll go install it now. Oh, I forgot to save. Crap. Okay, so I'm assuming FA search is in there. Yep. There you go. Uh, then what is it? Library dot add. Library dot add. Yep. I'll add an FA search, and we'll rerun Gridsome. Oh, and it loses my link again. So I have this local package I link to and it always loses the link in between after I do npm installs and I'm not sure why 
It's not a big deal. Okay. Let's refresh and reconnect to... Alright, so we got our icon. That's all good. I do want to... What? I want to margin... Well, actually, on this one, I should do margin 8. All right, so that puts my search icon. And what I'm going to have that do is actually pop up the search. So... So on click, I'll make, I'll say, <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do. I haven't figured that out. I started down this thought process and then <laughs> I, I didn't really thought it all the way through because I want to, I want to have my little search box, but it doesn't work well on this line because it's too big. What I should have it at is as a pop-up. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of effort to do as a pop up or a pop down what if i did something underneath so we'll add a you know v if show search all right actually we won't even put that in right away let's let's take that out let's add the search input underneath maybe I could put it there with I've even put in the box what's that look like all right so it's all the way over there that's not where I want it to be I want it to be <laughs> should I put it inside a nav yeah let me put it inside a nav for this so that's my div that's the search box there class relative all right with 80 so I don't want it with 80 all right uh, let me go look at tailwind so it's tailwind CSS on the back back end what if I'll add a show search. Scroll down to our logic. So if you click on the icon, we'll say click is equal to show search is equal to not show search. So you toggle the search, right? All right, that works. Let's get that search box better. So I want to justify it left. All right, and it's flex box. Um, I want to justify it on the end. Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. So class flex justify end okay I need to put it inside of a flexing container don't I Well, 
Hold on. It needs to be on the parent. But in their little example, it's not on the parent. It's on... this in another div just to so have a flex parent and then the flex item the parents not full with oh oh I see what you're saying Basically, you want the parent to be with 100%. I don't remember all the things. So, with one, with full. Hey, there we go. All right. There we are. That's good enough for now. Just go to another page and see what it looks like. Yeah, same thing. Cool. Hey, don't want to do that. All right. And let me go put a little pointer on that. Is that built in Tailwind cursor? Sure is. Cursor auto. Cursor pointer, that's what I want. There we are. All right. Excellent. So what I could do now is I can by add uh, push that up to source control. My GitHub action will kick in and automatically build everything. That only takes a minute or two. Well, let's go watch the GitHub action real fast. So it's one Kev Griff, it's kevgriffin.com v4, there we are. It says online, is there a reason you didn't pull it live? It is pulling live. I, I maybe I misunderstood. Um, why didn't I say, oh, you know what? That's an excellent question. It's because I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yep. So live and offline. So I can change that in just a moment. There. Okay, yeah, that'll go live. In a moment, I have to wait for the badge cache to refresh. Let's see if my GitHub action is is running. There it is. Let me just sit back and wait. How many folks out there are using GitHub actions? I tend to like GitHub actions more than uh, I did like Azure DevOps or anything else. 
it's it just clicks a little bit easier than most other build systems I've I've used. All right, npm install, link my local plugin. some build this is one of the reasons I love having a build system is because doing this part by hand and then doing the deployments uploading the blob storage takes so much time it's so tedious it's just nice to have a build system that does it for me all right it pushes all the things up to those blob storage so now if I go to consult with griff.com uh, I have a cache version, so... Oh, no, it's loading the shield. Plus one for live. All right, so we've already deployed live. We just got to wait for it to... Yeah, hey, there you go. We have a winner. Live. I like that. I think that looks really good. What do you all think? And when I go offline, it should turn light gray and say offline uh, lucky number seven still Azure uh, DevOps or AWS code build uh, but a little rush to be supported yeah you know I kind of felt the same thing um, when when uh, Azure github actions would live it felt very rushed uh, Mike is saying green for live all right And then inactive, and I can't even test inactive because I would have to go offline. This is, this is the problem with the, <laughs> but inactive looks like this. Uh, this color right here. So if we go with that for, hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Ace Flame Seer. So go with that as inactive the only, actually the only thing I'm a little worried about there is I use light gray for the label color so it would be gray and gray I wonder if that would be too much of an issue I don't know. so it's would say offline I don't know I uh, is shield putting that for you no what that what's that the live no i i set that as my options for the shield badge red offline so you would do red offline okay green live okay i concur that works for me let's push that up we'll have to wait for the cache to reset so that won't go live immediately All right, publish succeeded. This will not take effect immediately. At least it shouldn't. If it does, it's, that's good, but it probably won't. Is it going to create that function on every page loader? Did you put some caching in it? Uh, Shields IO has caching built into it. Oh, so there it goes. Uh, Twitch.tv live. All right, that looks, that looks really good. So good suggestion, Mike. Yeah. It says the default's 300, the minimum's 300. So 300 seconds, it should cache it. And we were we were talking about this a little bit earlier, was should I worry about hosting it from their site directly? And um, it looks like they have CDNs and caching and stuff turned on. It shouldn't be a problem. So I'm gonna go with it. I love that. That looks really good. Make it the same green as your site. Oh, okay. Well, actually, they said I could pass in an RGB value, so let me go. I'm not even sure what the RGB value is. Let me, let me grab it from the the bar. There it is. So if I come in here, I think it said I could put 
the actual hex in there. Now if I could just get the flash and say, I'm live, come watch me live. Oh, it didn't put my little search icon. Or why not? Huh. All right. I'm not worried about fixing that at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, it picked up the green. I wonder if it's caching based off the the endpoint that I return. So if I update the endpoint, that changes the cache. But as long as I don't change my endpoint, it's going to always be, no, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because if you have a build fail, you don't want to keep the build successful badge displayed until, yeah, all right. So that makes sense. As long as the endpoint doesn't change, everything should be good to go. Um, well, friends, this was a great stream. Uh, thanks to, oh my gosh, thanks to uh, Guy Royce, ha, like Rolls Royce, for the raid earlier. Thanks to Chef Brent for the raid earlier. Uh, thanks to all the new follows. Look at number seven, Chef Brent. It's a litany. The original jerk, Toe Frog, Nick's Mad Scientist subscription for one month, uh, tier one. Uh, thanks to Chicken Wing and Ace Flame Seer. Thank you all for the follows. We are almost at that magic 300 number. And I will definitely be streaming some more next week. And if you're on my website now, you'll know if I've gone live. And this is really cool. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me. We need to do a raid. So let's look at Twitch. And let's see who is currently streaming. I will welcome any recommendations. So who did I, so I've, the worst dev. Oh yeah, that's Kurt. What is Kurt working on? Oh, Michael Crump is live. Rambling Geek. Kyle Creations, I rated him last Friday or just the other day. So Pipe Dream, using Pipe Dream for workflow automation. Uh, Cyber Barbie, she's doing some cool stuff with learning Python. Clark IO, uh, are there any other live? See, he's not in live coders yet. He has a an application, I believe. All right, let's go look at teams. So teams, live coders. Uh, Lana Lux, she, I love her channel. She's working on some really cool stuff with her game. Uh, code phobia. I don't think I've ever pushed to code phobia before. More sanity into Angular. Messy coder. I kind of want to give someone some traffic. Uh, I am not myself. Who's this? Uh, come hang out while I edit. Spheros. Wish. Unity game dev. That sounds fun. Uh, Cyber Barbie. I just say I just gave Cyber Barbie um, a raid not too long ago. Uh, I think it was just the other day. To Messy Coder. First off, all right. Actually playing a game. Tutor Excellus. Actually playing a game. Uh, James Montenegro. What is what is he doing? He's working on Xamarin Forms. He hasn't started streaming yet though. I don't want to. Nippa, what's it? Nippa FX. Actually playing a game. Uh, yeah, Callow Creations. I just gave him a stream like two days ago. I had a good conversation with him, too. Let's see. Unity Game Dev. I am not. Yeah. All right. I just need to pick someone. You know what? We'll pick Cyber Barbie again. She she has an off. Oh, 
She's not even live right now. So if I send you there, she's not working anything at the moment. Oh, okay. What about Raimu? I grain Jason to real database. You know what? That, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll send him over to Raimu. No? All right. Lucky number seven. Do you have a, do you have a recommendation? Clark, yeah, Clark has been on a while. I saw his pop up on my phone earlier. Uh, Anthony writes code, open source Python programming. Actually, I don't think I've. Oh yeah, Cyber Barbie taking a break. Oh oh, she just came back. Perfect timing. Okay, well let's uh let's head over to Cyber Barbie then. All right, cool. I'm gonna head over. Let me get on her page before the ad. All right, so no ad today. Cool. Start raid. All right, here we go. We can get everyone involved. That'd be awesome. Um, tell Cyber Barbie I said hi. I'll hang out for a couple of minutes, but then I gotta go do dinner with the kids. But this has been fun. Thank you all so much for your help. I will see you all next time. Take care.